the Philippines has entered a decisive phase in its air power modernization. For decades, the Philippine Air Force operated without a true supersonic fighter capability, depending mostly on surveillance aircraft and light ground attack platforms. The introduction of the F-A-50 light combat aircraft changed that dynamic. Initially procured as a lead-in fighter trainer, the F-A-50 quickly evolved into a genuine multi-role platform and became the core of Manila's air defense revival. The new F-A-50 Block 20 variant now represents a leap toward a professional, credible, and networked air force ready for the strategic realities of the 21st century Indo-Pacific. The modernization plan known as Horizon 3, covering the years 2028 to 2034, prioritizes deterrence and joint interoperability. It recognizes that an archipelagic nation surrounded by contested waters must maintain an agile, affordable air arm capable of rapid reaction. The F-A-50 fleet, already tested in exercises and real-world patrols, embodies this philosophy. Upgrading to Block 20 standards ensures that the Philippines can remain relevant in a region where China's presence grows each year. The Block 20 package introduces a range of major enhancements. At its heart lies the Israeli-built ELM-2052 active electronically scanned array radar capable of detecting and tracking targets far beyond 150 kilometers. This enables genuine beyond visual range combat using the AM-120 AMRAAM missile, finally giving Philippine pilots the ability to strike first. The new Link-16 data network connects each aircraft to allied surveillance systems and command centers, allowing real-time coordination with American, Australian, and Korean assets. Updated mission computers, improved cockpit displays, and compatibility with precision-guided munitions such as joint direct attack munitions convert the F-A-50 into a true multi-role fighter. All this capability comes at a fraction of the cost of heavier jets. Operating expenses are a decisive factor. A single flight hour in an F-A-50 costs roughly one-third of that for an F-16, while maintenance turnaround time remains among the shortest in its class. This affordability allows the Philippine Air Force to maintain high readiness and continuous patrols over the West Philippine Sea. Against potential adversaries, the Block 20's combination of speed, radar reach, and network support provides credible deterrence. It cannot match fifth-generation aircraft, but it offers the right balance of capability and sustainability for a nation still rebuilding its air power foundations. The F-A-50 program also carries a diplomatic weight. Produced by Korea Aerospace Industries with significant American components, it symbolizes a growing defense partnership between Manila and Seoul. The cooperation includes pilot training, maintenance agreements, and the possibility of local assembly or depot-level support through the Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation. This partnership reflects a broader regional pattern. U.S. allies in Asia pooling resources and technology to counterbalance China's expanding military reach. The F-A-50 therefore stands not only as an aircraft, but as a political statement of trust and alignment. In daily operations, F-A-50s serve as the Philippines' main interceptors. They guard the air defense identification zone, escort visiting foreign aircraft, and conduct maritime strike training. During annual exercises such as Balakatan, the jets perform both aggressor and defensive roles, demonstrating the growing sophistication of Philippine pilots. 
Once the Block 20 upgrade arrives, the aircraft will gain the ability to detect hostile incursions earlier, engage targets at longer distances, and share sensor data across Allied networks, essential features for survival in modern air combat. The significance of this transformation extends beyond hardware. For decades, the Philippines relied on foreign air cover in any high-intensity scenario. Now it is developing the means to contribute meaningfully to regional security. Horizon 3 envisions not only upgraded F-A-50s, but a possible future acquisition of KF-21 Boramai fighters, creating a hybrid fleet of light and medium multi-role jets. Combined with emerging investments in radar, early warning aircraft, and missile defense, the Philippines could achieve a layered defense system that protects its archipelago and supports allied operations. The strategic impact in the South China Sea is already visible. Each new capability acquired by the Philippine Air Force signals determination to uphold its sovereignty. The FA-50 Block 20, with its supersonic reach and allied connectivity, challenges the perception that Manila is a passive player in regional security. While China's Coast Guard and maritime militia continue gray zone tactics near disputed reefs, the presence of capable jets equipped with modern sensors forces reconsideration of risk on every incursion. The aircraft is, in effect, a deterrent that speaks without firing a shot. Nonetheless, challenges remain. The Philippine Air Force operates only a dozen F-A-50s, insufficient for continuous national coverage. Aerial refueling capacity is non-existent, limiting endurance. Missile stocks and electronic warfare training are still developing. Sustaining high readiness will require consistent funding, which depends on political continuity and public support. Yet these shortcomings are normal for a force that is rebuilding after decades of neglect. What matters is the trajectory, and that trajectory is upward. The FA-50 Block 20 thus marks the beginning of a quiet revolution. It transforms the Philippine Air Force from a symbolic institution into a functioning regional player. The upgrade is affordable, achievable, and strategically aligned with allied defense networks. In the larger contest for influence across the Indo-Pacific, the Philippines has chosen to strengthen its own foundations rather than rely solely on external guarantees. The FA-50 is not a prestige project. It is a pragmatic shield for a nation that has rediscovered the importance of air power. As the first Block 20 aircraft roll out over the next few years, their presence will represent more than an incremental improvement. They will embody Manila's intent to defend its skies, contribute to collective security, and shape its destiny in an increasingly contested region. In the decades ahead, Historians may look back on this modest, twin-seat fighter as the machine that reignited the Philippines' confidence in the air. It is a symbol of resilience, partnership, and the understanding that in modern defense, capability and credibility are measured not by size, but by resolve.